So you want to just tell me what you're painting today? This is Garden of the Gods on a very crisp, cold October morning. There's a dusting of October snow up on Pikes Peak, rich, rich shadows and autumn color. We were standing on a hill below the Garden of the Gods Club and just froze as we watched the sun slowly rise over Garden of the Gods. I, this is all my own photography, all my own hiking. I happen to switch the composition because there's too much alignment here. So I've moved this large shadow tree to this side. Um, again, all our own photography, hiking, composition. Before I came down, I laid in the oil sketch to solve my problems with dark light shadow and composition. And now I'm laying in more heavier paint as I move toward the finish. Okay. And do, you, do you paint from uh, photographs pretty fairly often or is that primarily? I paint both. I've painted for many years in the field, plein air, carrying my gear in. But now I prefer if I'm going to be hiking in places like the Canadian Rockies and Glacier National Park, I want to get as far in as possible. So it's been hard for me to carry my gear that far. And I want to come out as, with as many memories as possible. So I do paint a lot in the studio, but I work with Adobe Photoshop. And I understand from many years of plein air painting the importance of color and color, color and light and shadow, and how quickly all that light can change. I started out by massing in the lights and darks with thin transparent paint and now I'm working on color and color. I'm fine tuning with spots of color, light. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on that rock face because everything else has to work. That's the, and then I'll, I can see that Pike's Peak needs more work. The, the snow is really catching more light and I have just left a hint of the sketch underneath so I'm going to be working more on this rock face and developing Pikes Peak some more. And lastly we'll do this tree and you can see a lot of the twigs and branches help the texture character there so I'll lay in some of those but I've put in lights behind so I can pull that dark of the shadowed tree out on top of it. 